Castlegar Selkirk Saints wrapped up another season with a couple electric rounds of playoff hockey. The intercollegiate team managed to bring a strong showing at the season's end after getting off to a bit of a rocky start. Uh, we went through a lot of adversity this, this year. Um, we had some injuries. Uh, we dealt with uh, just various issues. Um, just coming together as a group, we really pulled it together the second half. Um, had some key moments in January where we really started to uh, play the way we wanted to play and it was nice to see our players stick with it and ultimately win a championship. The first round of playoffs saw the Saints go head to head against UBIC with a home ice advantage, which contributed to the team's success in beating out Victoria in the second game. I know we have a great, great fans here, so I'm in there behind us all the way. And I think we just, you know, we just rode off the crowd and played some really good hockey. I think it was one of our best, best games of the year as a team and uh, we just really didn't give them anything. I mean, game one, it was a battle. Uh, they put everything, we had put everything on the line, and I just think on game two, we prevailed. A little more energy, and uh, just the guys played really good. Saints advanced to the championships to face Simon Fraser University and again swept the series, winning it in two. Final score of the second game, Selkirk four, Simon Fraser two. We came off a little, I think a little slow to start. I think the nerves got to us a little bit, and. And they pressed early on, but I think after, and they only finished with 15 or 16 shots. And our defense were playing well. Our goalie still on his head for some big saves. And just the way we started to play down the end of the end of the stretch, uh, going into playoffs, I think we're, it was great for us to uh, kind of build, uh, going right in. Uh, we were on a hot streak and started to play a lot better defensively. Um, and it really showed in those two games. Our our clinching wins were uh, really hard-fought, uh, hard-fought defensive games, and, and we really, uh, I was so proud of our guys. We really uh, just showed what we were working on all season, so it was good. Key to the successes of the Saints has been Captain Logan Prue. This year marked the third season for the local player, whose leadership and drive brought the team together. Before Logan came uh, to our program, uh, the team was struggling, uh, the program was struggling, and, and it takes a lot of uh, he deserves a lot of credit coming here and his leadership is just, uh, it's been fantastic. He was just um, just a team guy from day one and, and wanted to win a third championship and I think, uh, you know, his work ethic and his, uh, just how he, how he handles himself day to day is uh, very important for, for us in winning a championship this season. And while the title win is still fresh, the Saints organization is already planning for next season. We started our recruiting already. Uh, we have seven player commitments now for next season. We recruited Dallas Calvin out of Trail. Um, he's a top scorer in, in uh, Beaver Valley and for the Trail Smoke Eaters. And we're adding a great, uh, another great local player to our program, which we're really excited about. For Go Kootenays in Castlegar, I'm Christina Kruchkowski.